drive on the left. Scooters only. Good luck. And no, I did not make those clues up myself. I have actually done that. It's fun to drive around <laughs> oh, the is island it? on yeah. a scooter over Bermuda, and it's a beautiful island, and it would be it just is. perfect given the rain coming this week. Exactly. Thank you, sir. All right. Going to the dentist might be something most of us take for granted, but people with special needs often have trouble even getting routine dental work. However, many are able to see the dentist thanks to a program right here in town. Here's Susan Hay now with tonight's Making a Difference. Mount Sinai's dentistry program for persons with special needs is the largest clinic of its kind in Canada and one of the best programs in the world. So you to open up. The dental care is provided by a team that includes undergrad and graduate dental students from the University of Toronto, providing them with an educational experience while fostering comfort between dental students and persons with special needs. So what does this clinic mean to you? What does it provide? It means everything. It offers great care, where such care that you can't really get anywhere else, especially if you're physically disabled. Okay, it's lots of water. What we found for the past 30 years is that persons with special needs are finding huge difficulty in finding someone to treat them. There we go. Currently in Mount Sinai, we have patients traveling as far as Kingston, North Bay, driving up to eight hours for a 15-minute checkup. So you wrote down everything you did with Cole? Yeah. We're basically the safety net. We're the clinic of last resource for many of these individuals with special needs or disabilities who have tried to obtain dental care in their communities. If we didn't have the students here, we couldn't run the program. Very good. You know, the students are, uh, are the vital link in terms of the maintenance program of uh, seeing these individuals for their checkups and their cleanings and the follow-up. You gonna smile? Yes, it's still in there. The program has been extremely successful with the largest patient base of any program of its kind. Okay, let's go find mom. My dad's uh, been a role model for me my entire life and his whole career has been dedicated to working with persons with special needs in regards to dentistry and providing care. And that's the only dentistry I've grown up knowing and that's the dentistry that I want to continue providing and make the future a bit brighter for those that suffer from disabilities. So needed this program. No kidding. Great life lessons there too mm -hmm. for the daughter of the founder. Yes. This is a very successful program. How long has it been around? Since 1975 and at least 90 percent of the residents in the program who go on to get their own practices end up treating pe individuals with special needs. Now however the waiting lists and demand for care continue to grow. Oral Health and Total Health was established by second year dental student Ali Siegel taking uh, her father's journey along the way. This nonprofit organization has a mission to advocate, educate and improve the oral health care, one of the top needs facing persons with special needs suffering from a greater prevalence of oral disease and unfortunately have the hardest time finding local dental care. I know it's hard to believe. Now to learn more you can always visit globaltoronto.com and follow the links to Making a Difference. More Unsung Heroes. Thank yes, you Susan. You're welcome. Still ahead tonight. Could it be too good to be true coming up